think, what we do, our behavior, and how we feel. So in terms of understanding the importance of the effect of neurotransmitters in our brain, and also in our second brain, in the GI tract, where there's just as much neural tissue, 90% of the serotonin, neurotransmitters, whether it's the belly or the brain, affect how we think, how we behave, and how we feel. So in our teaching of, of uh, residents, we, we use this term neurotransmitter deficiencies. I find myself using it a lot with parents, um, but we really haven't done spinal taps and look in the CSF to really uh, make dents into understanding this concept that depression is a neurotransmitter deficiency. Um, but I think it's pretty clear that there is a concept or a clinical relevance to understanding that there's a neurotransmitter dysfunction. There's not optimal function of neurotransmitters across the synapse based on the illness and the symptoms, likely different neurotransmitters. I, I highlighted diet and nutrient absorption because that's the focus of, of my work and what we're going to talk about. But neurotransmitter deficiencies or dysfunction can be attributed to genetics, genetic polymorphisms to many aspects of neurotransmission, uh, receptor function, uh, synthesis, stress, inflammation. Brand new study came out, just presented at the APA um, this weekend on inflammation and depression being more common, uh, more significant for women than men. And the neurotoxins. Um, we've certainly seen it with um, pesticides affecting uh, dopamine synthesis. So many ways of uh, finding the deficiency in or dysfunction. We're going to focus on diet and uh, nutrient absorption as just one of these five means of looking at uh, dysfunctional neurotransmitter activity. So we're going to talk... Um, a little bit about dopamine, and we talk a little bit about serotonin, and these are just schematics of the um, synthesis of dopamine in the presynaptic cell and being released, and then um, dopamine receptors in the postsynaptic cell. Here, we'll be repeating these concepts a lot, but you see it's not just the amino acid precursor. You can see here in the red, these are the amino acid precursors, but we're going to look at, let's see if I can get a different color, that there's folate and there's B6, zinc, you need B12, you need magnesium, um, all for the synthesis. And then you see in the postsynaptic cell, much of these receptors are genetically uh, driven.